Nothing beats the cage. He's still again. How do you... Never mind. Look at these. They're so amazing. So we got Here's this. Which one do you like more? This one? Or, or oh, this? Here we... The bird is beautiful, and the cage is somber, but there's really something special about it. It's so what do we want to do here? It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, no, matter, it doesn't matter, that's matter the point. All. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> well, Fucking, you make an immersive sim where the whole point is that your choices are meaningless. Fucking... Sorry. I think I everyone did the bird, so let's do the cage. The one okay. on the are you sure? I'm sure. So the significance of this is that she wears it. I love it. But also the significance is that it, it literally does not matter. I shan't do this again. Oh my god. The Latessas will show up a few more times, and I think we get one or two more choices, and, and again... Does not matter. So I don't they know if need to be in this explicit. game more. Sorry, go. Yeah. Oh no, no. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know if there's ever like an explicit reference to this, but one thing that's kind of cool about the key that has like the bird at the cage on it um, is that it is like kind of a famous magic trick, optical illusion thing that is like kind of contemporary to where this game's era is, where you could like, you have a stick and on the end of it, like on one side of a paddle is the bird and the other side of the cage and you spin it around really fast and it looks like the bird is in the cage. Um, so yeah, that's that's like why that iconography is being used in that specific way. And it kind of like, it ties in with the theme of like superimposition of two different states. Yeah. So, yeah. Look at this one. He's suspicious if you That was pretty close. So that's clever. I, I don't know how much, like, really comes of it, but I, I do appreciate a clever thing. What are you doing? You're a roguish type. So, um, we had a, a thing pop up a uh, short while ago that was like, you don't have to protect Elizabeth. She can take care of herself. And it's like, oh, yeah, this was back when companion characters were not just a thing that had been figured out. Um, where, like, the, the best example of a companion follower was, like, Alex from Half-Life 2. Who and, wasn't really uh, in much of the combat. Right, and, like, a lot of the times you were still, we were still stuck with, like, the AI that would just, like, go and die for no reason, or get in your way, and stuff like that. I must take any task with more than the slightest you plug him into a big oh, robot, and then oh, he sir. turns into the big oh, stupid robot, and mind. then sends you into the pit. And then you gotta go find your potato friend, and then you gotta go back up and stop the big stupid robot. Yeah. I enjoyed this summary. I, I would also uh, double Mumble's recommendation recommendation for more Latest twins, but uh, honestly, I get the impression that a lot of what they bring to the table was explored better in something like Beginner, not Beginner's Guide, um, Stanley Parable. Yeah. I uh, yes. I guess what I want to say is I want hey, to hey, play them. I want to, I want this game to be where I'm playing them. Interesting. See, that would be cool. Without you, we wouldn't have gotten. I want to be the snarky just, little weirdo. They escaped and they're just hanging out in the costumes from the lynching. That somebody like you would come. I I would love a co-op game where you're playing the same person from. Oh, spoilers. Uh, the same two people from that. alternate dimensions. What's yeah. that comic book character? Is it Moon Knight? Camster, help me out. Who's that Marvel guy? Mo Moon, Moon Knight does uh, have multiple personalities. I don't know if that's what you're looking for. Uh, there's one guy in Marvel Comics who's got like a couple different versions of himself. And at one I'm point he starts like making out with his like other half. Like the girl version uh, of himself. I have no idea what you're talking let about. Let me ask Nick. Yes. I'll be right back. Oh, it's Phantom X. Okay. As, as just a general rule of thumb, if you ever can't think of a comic book character, the odds that any of the three of us are going to know who it is are probably pretty low. Well, that's why I have my husband in the other room to shout Phantom yes. X at me. You, you guys are the comic book, uh, like the comic book just panel, on. like of the Pawn Stars episode that is this I thought Camster could help. <laughs> Camster, do you read comic books? Or you just yeah, like watch I, the MCU? I, 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 I read the comic books, but I have never heard of Phantom X. I don't know who that is. You and Nick are above me in comic book lore. That is true. I we I had a sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say this further draws the allusion to uh, Disneyland more explicitly, where not only do we have an animatronic, but we have an animatronic president, 
Um, the, the Disney overtones here are not subtle. And I don't know what that says about Disney, given that Disney's whitewashed version of Americana finds itself so easily at home Bullshit. as a source for for this <laughs> yeah, game. I mean... Yeah. Yo, I went to Epcot, and I was like, okay, time to go to America Land, I guess. Fuck. And so you walk in, and they have- it looks just like this, by the way. The Epcot America version, like, you walk into this building, and it has this grand area that looks fucking just like this. But the thing that pissed me off is they have this tiny little area on the side oh, that's like, here's about the Native Americans. And you're like, oh, okay, uh, thanks! Okay, but just they put have that an the entire basement of America Land. They have an entire restaurant that's a barbecue restaurant run by Sam Eagle. So Muppet that's good, themed. Right? I know that's exactly what happened, Camster. Is I was like, I'm getting out of here and gonna go eat with the Muppet. Elizabeth America has was colonized by sprinting. the Muppets. It's their fault. That's why we've hunted them to extinction. <laughs> Don't you dare! Excuse me. Annabelle, it's me, Esther. Oh no, I'm not Annabelle. Are you sure? My name is Elizabeth. Do I know you? Elizabeth? Isn't that a lovely name? Oh. That was... odd. No, oh, uh, so, since we're talking about comics, just, like, Last anecdote, customer. um, Box and I'm playing Sea of Thieves recently, Box my sea husband, one. Jabbar, uh, he Wait. is, like, the comic books guy, and I'm, like, the RPG guy, and we had a day where we switched roles, and in part of switching roles, like, we each had to come up with something that we knew about the one thing that the other person didn't know about the other thing. And I exhausted all of my comic book trivia with no results until finally I got to like, there was this Ovaltine drink that did their own comic book that was terrible. And it became a hot specular item because people thought it was rare, but then they found an entire warehouse full of them and all the speculators uh... completely lost their shirts. Yep, that'll happen with nerd shit. To the first lady airship. Yeah, just, just put the brand out there so that guy can see you, uh, don't. That's yeah, actually literally what happened with comic books. Mm -hmm. I got it. I'll ring you back once the matter's in hand. I don't like this. Yeah, send in the bird. So should we draw a weapon? Do, I don't care. Murder everybody. Kill Excuse them me, all. can I get some help here? Certainly, sir. Sorry about the way. Again, your choice does not matter. Get the girl! Get off of me! Should've listened to me. Should've listened to me when I said kill them all. I mean, we can do that now. Yay. We, we killed the lady that was dressed suspiciously like a stormtrooper, giving some sort of foreshadowing to our inevitable betrayal. Elizabeth, Yay, we killed the lady! She does not like that we just murdered all those people. So there was oh, a... Oh yeah! There's a thing back there. Where do we go oh, here? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, let's get the shotgun. I... Boy, like... Some of the... 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 the seams in this game... By which I mean the stuff where they just didn't have time to write it good. Not the part where they just didn't know how to write it good. But like parts where they didn't have time really start showing in terms of Elizabeth's reaction to us like being a guy who kills people. Uh, where they flip-flop really, really hard on conversations he has with us in like a very short amount of time. Or she'll be like, Booker, you're a great person. And then like literally a minute later, she'll be like, Booker, you kill people and it disgusts me. You're a disgusting murder pig. If you want to see good writing about such a discussion, check out the HBO Max show Invincible, about being invincible. That was pretty good, yeah. Um... It's got Cave Johnson as... I'm not gonna spoil it. <laughs> Have you seen the, the fucking lemon rant? The lemon Where rant? Where they put the lemon rant over <gasps> that they one did. scene. Yes, I will link it to you after. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna close my night out with that. You know what I enjoy? Like, the edit for the, the end of Death Note, uh, where, like, Light is confronting Matsuda, but they put in bogus subtitles where he's trying to teach Matsuda how to swim. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised you've been increasing... Have you been increasing the shield or, or your health? Uh, I've been increasing shield and salt. No health at all. Just stay okay. where you are! Yeah, do, do, do shield as much as you can, because that's really what you want. 
Yeah, no, like it, it like it's not as much as the health increase, I believe, but like health you have to heal and shield you don't. Does this count as a funicular, or is this it's because it's on no cords? What's a funicular? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! You killed those people. We had it, defining funicular is a thing that has happened like in several parts in spoiler warning history. We're not. Wow, sure what this a show sounds is really not. interesting. This is a common oh, yeah. practice for you guys. Oh, yeah. Classic bit. Everybody, everybody oh, blows this is up when we do that bit. Oh yeah! It, it's, it's part it's, of our live it's, show. It's, it's an elevator that goes up and down an inclined plane, is really all it is. Like, you know that bit in Half-Life in the very first couple levels where the thing goes down and the head crabs drop on you while it's going down? You guys That's are playing Half-Life without- No, I'm just saying. Like... Actually, no. <laughs> I think it was Human Revolution where we had the Mesa would be a fun game to do. It was. No, it was Black Mesa would not be a fun one to do, and here's why. Black why Mesa is so much more stressful than the fucking original Half-Life game. It's not the last of it. Yeah. Interesting. And I cannot explain why, it just is. It's scarier and more stressful. Whereas the first one's just like, la di da di. Who's got the gaudy? <laughs> I like my hand. I like how she finished bandaging your head and then immediately you're flashing a shotgun barrel in her face. <laughs> um, but, but that brings up like a point that we were talking about, right? Where like the, the back and forth conversations between violence and, and empathy. Say what you will about datification games, but like The Last of Us and uh, The Walking Dead and God of War God and of others War. all, yeah, they all they all involve the violence directly, right? Kratos doesn't want to pass on his violence to his son. Lee doesn't know how to pla uh, how to prepare Clementine for a world where she might have to kill, but he doesn't want her to lose her humanity. Um, even The Last of Us is is a game where like. The violence is a little bit more flippant, and it's a little bit more of a land landmine to talk about. But but it's core to the game. Here it's like here's a whole level of just killing a bunch of dudes. She's gonna be uncomfortable for five minutes, but she's still your best friend. In Mass Effect Two, um, there's a Krogan named Grunt, and he shows up in a little vat, like a little. Um, he's pre-made. He's a ready-to-go Krogan, but he doesn't have any memories or nothing. So you, as Commander Shepard, have to raise him either as a Krogan or try to raise him more as a human. And that is more meaningful than this fucking game. Now I just That's have an question. image of you running around Bioshock Infinite with Grunt instead of Elizabeth. Oh, fuck, yeah. My Shepard and Grunt would fuck this place up. What, what does it say that um, a, a game that involves multiple dimensions where each dimension presumably branched off because of someone's choice is also a game that very much despises the concept of choice being meaningful in every in every sense of the word. Yeah. And we'll get into more of that later. But... I mean, you're right. A city in the sky is impossible. How does this darn thing fly? Rockets? Balloon? Wow. So so okay, oh, yes. this this might be me opening up a fucking Pandora's box, and that feel free to cancel this conversation that I'm about to open. Um, it's okay. But Nothing you can say can be on par with my menstrual breakdown. So. Did you write that? Well, okay, but this is more just a, a powder keg that I'm bringing into the room, and I think we might just want to push this powder keg back out of the room. But like, maybe part of it is maybe just that I haven't. I can't. There's no subtitles and I can't hear anything because we're watching Josh's stream on Discord. But like, as much as this game invokes a lot of, of racially insensitive um, iconography, I don't remember it evoking a lot of inflammatory, derogatory words. Does it? And I'm just not remembering it? Or, or is that something it this game... Doesn't. Because I noticed the word darn, and I'm like, oh, so they're aware of how much language has changed. But then I'm like, this? is this game actually using language, honestly? And I, I don't think it is. We we heard, like, the one racial slur I can remember in this game at all already. If they're going to say a racial slur, it's going to be against the Irish. That's my prediction. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that, you're right, that's exactly what they do, like, yeah. yeah, there's this weird thing where they're like, well, that's going too far, and it's like, motherfuckers, like, good instincts, I guess, but, like, did that not bring this whole project into sharp relief? 
Right. Like, to be clear, I'm not saying this game needs to be using the N-word a lot. I'm saying, like, this game feels perfectly comfortable invoking all sorts of, of, of uncomfortable racist iconography. But they know where the line is, and they won't cross it, and because and they won't cross it in part because they know they can't justify it. But if they can't justify that, how do they exactly. justify the rest of this shit? Exactly. Like, and that's the weird thing, isn't it? Like, on, on some level, it's like, yeah, like, they were clearly uncomfortable about using actual racial terminology from, like, th this era, or and the modern era also. I don't know why I, I qualified it like yeah. that, but, like, they, were, they didn't use racial slurs because they're like, oh, that's too intense. When they also had just like a lynching in the game, uh, <laughs> and that probably should have been gonna be more cynical. I'm going to be more cynical. I'm going to say that the reason why they didn't use that kind of language is because they didn't want sound bites. It's bad for marketing. Oh, yeah. Like it probably was just like a literally oh. either. Yeah, you play through the game and you're like, oh, but there's you know, it's a world build. Or it's a five-second clip on CNN. God, I'm just picturing yeah. now, like, the, the, the voice acting sessions yeah, where you have to get, like... Because you know how much crap you have to scream into a microphone for a video game, right? Every bark, every right. every ow, every yelp. I want you to scream the N-word as loud and as angrily as you can 15 oh different ways for an hour. Speaking of sound clips, that do that. So I'm gonna get my TikTok going with that sound clip. Thanks, camps. Oh god yep. damn it. Love, <laughs> love love the love the Twitch stream there. Just like I mean Twitch Twitch was a Twitch was a thing when this game came out, was it? No, no. It was very new. It, it, it may have been Justin TV. I don't think Twitch would have been a thing. Yeah. Right. Uh, Twi Justin TV was a whole oh, it's a long game. Uh, can I just say something? Uh, something just occurred to me, which I, I would love to share with you guys. This game fucking- this gun fucking sucks ass. The game also sucks. This gun is terrible. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just Why? realized that when I shot the guy in the face and he didn't die instantly. Know. I don't know why it's so bad. Like, it just sucks to use. Does it have, like, bad aim? It- it- it's actually pretty it's accurate. Bad it just, like... Oh, it doesn't- it feels like you need to- oh yeah. It's got bad recoil, and it feels like you need to shoot people a lot of times for them to die. And like it doesn't hold that much ammo, and the ammo it doesn't you don't get much ammo for it total. It's all coming back to me. I fucking hate this gun. I wish they would yeah, bring back uh, bouncy bullets, so you don't have to aim real yeah. good. Yeah. Josh, look at the maps. Right? I like that. Uh, uh, I just I just want to point yeah. this out again. Uh, again, invoking uh, Disney iconography. It's it's just everywhere. Oh, yeah. By the way, Hall of Heroes has strong Hall of Presidents vibes, and that's I think where we're on our way. Yeah, no kidding. Isn't that oh, the Oh, look, they got museum? the eagle! Sam Eagle's it barbecue is right there! Yay! Do you know why you were hired to come and get me? I imagine they were interested in you. Did you just, like, risk it? Did you just stone cold deny her, like, attempt to destroy you something for, like, ten seconds? I've never even heard of this place. I maybe. I was busy huh. looking at that very nice map. I assumed Columbia was common knowledge below. Yes, um, that's what Elizabeth what does. What? What's your favorite Epcot, uh, world around the big the big lake what's your about, favorite around the world land? yeah uh, it depends on what i'm trying to do also a lot of it's going to be changing with the advent of the uh ratatouille ride yeah, and, and all yeah, that stuff yeah, yeah. i also haven't been there in like five years um okay, like best yes. for drinking and also best for atmosphere is probably mexico uh at this point japan probably has some of the best food uh and shopping yeah um I remember when I went as a child, uh, like, the, the shopping and stuff in the Epcot World Pavilions, like, just, like, the, the things girl, that they had to sell was just very room, lazy. Like, go. they didn't really know how to do it yet. But they're just like, Japan? Um, how about a shirt with a ninja on it? Cool, right? Used to work for the I don't know ninjas, a, but I just, yeah. When I was a teen, they had, like, uh, what's that one? It's like not Top Chef, Iron Chef. They had a bunch of Iron Chef stuff. Because <laughs> Iron Chef started off in Japan. Now it's not bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Josh, can you go back? Yeah. So, uh, to the to the bird. Why, why why do we have the bird as a toy? Oh. Yeah, that's a good uh, question. Because he protects us. He attacked, but he also protects. Oh here yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why? Why is Songbird a consumable? Because we need to merchandise the the horrible he oppressive protect, regime. But he also attacks. I mean, like, yeah, there's that, and like, 
we're sort of well, talking about how, like, in the poster, it's like, oh, he's, like, Department of Defense. It's, you think about, like, the military loves selling military toys to kids because it, like, gets them comfortable and used to the idea that all this stuff is cool and keeps you safe. But, like, it feels weird for this specific thing. I don't know. I, 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 I sort well, of agree with you. I, well, I, I think that's what I'm getting at, though, is I think that's a, 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 a vestigial leftover from when he was maybe a defender of all of Columbia, because he is very, in this version of the game, is very specifically her protector. He is Elizabeth's protector. That's it. I, as far yeah. as I'm aware, that's his only job. And so it's weird that they would sell toys of so, the, the protector of our... I, I don't know what they refer to her as. She died. That's weird. Why would that be weird? Well, it if makes it's more the sense. princess that everybody loves, the savior's child, whatever, fucking amazing, wouldn't she be like, hell yeah, the knight who protects her is my hero? I, I guess, but to me it makes more sense back when it was like indoctrinating children into the military industrial oh, complex by having like the, 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 the embodiment of the terror of the state is also this plush toy you can hate take home in the same way that we have G.I. Joe's. It, it, it would have been more sense. impactful, but I think it still yeah. makes sense. Yeah, good point. All these boxes. I, used to be people. I, I will say that just because of this, you asked like what she called. It. I think she's called the Lamb. And every time I get mad at the iconography being used in this game, so uh, I'll just think about like that weird Lamb with a human face <laughs> from the early game. Oh, why? Why bring Is that Hall up? Is Hall of in my Heroes mind? the the uh, racism it's museum? So awesome. Yes, when we get to the uh, Hall of Heroes, but that... we still got a little bit oh, to go. It's... No, it's where it's right here. It's like we can go there now. No, no. Remember, you have to cross the bridge. It's like it's it, there's a little bit more. Oh, well, is it optional? Because we could just call the gondola right now. I can you just skip? Let this me see whole if it's. Segment? Let me see, see if, if it's you go. can. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Yeah. So the racism museum, which is a great thing to call it, is like it's basically there's two walkthrough dark ride style attractions. Uh, modeling two different experiences that Booker would have. I can't imagine it's optional because it's kind of a huge part of the storyline. Um, yeah. Although not such a huge part that we can't easily summarize it if we decide to skip this part, which I'm pretty in favor of. Uh, the reason we call it the Racism Museum is because the two signature events in Booker DeWitt's life are um, the Battle at Wounded Knee and the Boxer Rebellion, both of which he was present at suppressing. Um, Wounded Knee was, in case you're not aware, just an outright massacre where U.S. soldiers killed Native Americans. Uh, it's completely 100% un unjustifiable. One of the dark chapters of a genocide. <laughs> like, relative to the genocide, it was one of the worst parts. Um, and then there's uh, the Boxer Rebellion, which is like... Sort of... In involvement in the Boxer Rebellion in this world is kind of like... A representation of interventionist America, America that wants to like go solve everybody's. Don't look at it. Jesus. America oh, that why? wants to like solve everybody's problems for them, and also like show authority and like keep people in line uh, from resisting colonial authorities. And both of these are theme park style attractions with animatronics. Uh, does it still do that? Holy shit! Not yep. in this timeline. Uh, I just thought this was like, I thought this was just like for the tutorial. No, <laughs> so you literally it is cannot not, fall off of the city in the sky. It is not skippable. Um, I think we can try to move through it as fast as possible. It's mostly combat, and just we'll look at the floor and talk Let's about. Just keep it. Our, what's, what's our time down. today? Yeah. Well, we're 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 at time here, but like, what the hell happens if we just call the gondola instead? Uh, I don't think you work. can. You need to go fix it, like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it breaks and you need to go get Shock Jockey. Okay, I get it. Right, right. So this is like my bug power manifesting into this world, right? Where Basically. Right. Any, any fucking lever possible. just explodes. Yeah, it's, now we have to go to the racism you see. <laughs> I, like, the thing is, I actually, one of the things I like the most, I'm really salty about this in particular, because one of the things I like the most, uh, like, one of the things I'm a big fan of, Loki, is theme park style attractions where there's, like, animatronics and, like, dummy displays oh, yeah. that are, like, telling a story oh, yeah. of some kind. It doesn't even matter if it's terrible, I even kind of like that, because it's like, oh, this is, this is, like, the animatronic that these, these people would make. Like, there was one in Dollywood uh, a decade ago, which may still be there for all I know, that was like like a fire station thing. Um, 
But yeah, uh, I was salty because I really like those, especially in video games too, and this was bad because it's just the racist in this game. Can we get a gun that's not... yeah, okay. The blunderbuss sucks. I do not invest in the blunderbuss. All these guns also do. Yeah. While, while we were um, doing the whole don't look at it, don't look at it thing, I would point out that all of this is about indoctrinating children. I mean, you got the giant soldier and oh, tank yeah. there. I, I feel like maybe that gives credence to the idea that at one point Songbird was more about the army. How many generations do you think lived on this floating apparatus? They, Just one? They have an exact date for its founding, and it's I think it's shortly after the Boxer Rebellion. We're about to go see the history of the whole thing, so... Oh, okay, cool. I'll look at the... <laughs> we'll look at the floor. <laughs> well, we're gonna look at the floor. Uh, but... That will be next week. Because, uh... We are at one hour and five minutes, so I'd say that's a good place to call So wait, 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 go back. Be before we end, before we end, I just want to say one more thing. Or not say one more thing, but oh look at God. one more thing. Go back into the elevator and look at how go, the look at how they have reframed Songbird. Uh, the other other poster. Praise be to Songbird, oh, yeah. for he is the protector of the lamb. It is now that's very marketable. much about protecting the lamb. That's marketable. I can sell plushies with that. <laughs>